The Curry family was interviewed by Jada Pinkett Smith, her mother, and Willow on the Red Table Talk recently. And Aisha apparently got the hoteps, the noteps, and the woke people all in a frenzy on this little clip right here. Take a listen. Um, more understanding. Something that really bothers me and, like, honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that, yeah, like, there are all these women, like, throwing themselves. But me, like, the past 10 years, like... I don't have any of that. Like, I have zero, this sounds weird, but, like, male attention. And so then, you like, I begin to realize. internalize it. And I'm like, is something wrong with you're me? Not, like, you're, you're not looking. Not you're not looking. Like, you're not even looking. But I'm going to tell you something else, too. When your radar's turned off, because I dealt with that for years, too. Like, and I was young. Like you. Yeah, I'm like, like oh, my God. Fair. I mean. Because I don't but, want it. But yeah. it would be nice to know that, like, Someone's looking. But that when you get real dangerous. Turned off, <laughs> yeah. Right. That can get real Don't dangerous. ever think for one minute that it ain't no some men out there looking at you like I wish. Honestly. And, and I'm going to tell you who knows that more than anybody. And I'm I want to ask a question there. Now, that little clip of a 27 minute episode got people losing their minds and dragging Aisha all over social media based on the fact that she said, you know, she knows her husband gets attention. She would just like to know that basically she still has it. That's all she said. And people took that little clip and assumed that she said she wanted to go out and have sex with other men, you know, that she, you know, they called her a hoe, They said she was ungrateful and how dare she, her man is out there making millions of dollars and how dare she sit there and act like she want other men to look at her. And I was just looking at the frenzy online, like have people just lost their damn minds dragging this woman for no reason off of a little clip and not even looking at the entirety of the episode and understanding where she was coming from. I understood exactly. I was on Facebook last night with some of my friends And we were just sitting here discussing it like, what's the big deal of what she said? First things first, I don't know a woman alive that don't, you know, after working all day, cooking, cleaning, you got kids, you got a job, you up on your feet, you doing all of the extra stuff. This is your life every single day. I don't know a woman alive that still want to know, that still don't want to know that she still got it, that she can still turn her head. She don't want it, but she still wants to know that she still has it. I hope some of you are understanding what I'm saying. Who doesn't want to be deemed attractive to other people? If you say that you don't, you're lying to yourself. I'm sorry. All right. People get this idea of, a, of attention mixed up with sexual intentions. She was just merely saying that she just wants to know that she can still turn a head or two. She did not say she wanted to go out and have sex with other people. She did not say that. I don't know how people got that out of this conversation. I don't even know how. I don't. I, I, I still am trying to understand what the big hubbub was about that particular snippet. I really was. Now, I did see a, a, some men online. It was women too. A lot of the pick me's, you know, and there was a lot of people basically saying, well, if the tables were turned, you know, Steph could never say that. Steph could never get on TV and say, y'all, oh, well, he still want to be uh, attractive to other women. First things first. Are you sitting here going to tell me that married people don't want to be, a, you know, to appear attractive to the opposite sex, even though they're married. If that was the case, why do you see all these married women out here with the waist trainers and all dialed up on Instagram? Do you think they're doing that for their husband? Because if they're doing that for their husband, they don't need to post it online. All these men out here getting lace front uh, wigs on their heads and beards and all this other stuff and, and, and getting all dialed up and going to the gym and posting it once again online. Do you think they're doing that for their wives? I think not. And that is not to say that they're out there trying to cheat. I am just saying that the purpose of that is you still want to be attractive to other people. You ain't dead. 
You're married. You're not dead. So I don't see what the big deal is. And furthermore, I stand with Aisha Curry simply because when did we get to the point where a person cannot have their own opinion about their lives and people kill them for it? She was expressing her opinion about how she felt, how she was insecure. Okay, she is married to one of the biggest basketball players on the planet right now. And I can imagine the kind of life that her and people like Savannah James and other women have to go through when there are women out here that will throw themselves at them. Okay, they Steph automatically gets the built-in attention because of who he is. She was just saying... She just wants to know she that she still has it. That's it. She's not looking to get, you know, flued out. That's not what she was saying, okay? And for the record, I don't think that a man is going to approach a Aisha Curry, you know? It's because of who she is. Most men wouldn't even, like, dare try to climb that mountain. I mean, she is Steph Curry's wife, and a lot of them probably feel intimidated by even attempting to reach out to her or say something to her, Okay. They kind of see her, they kind of see her in a different light. She's his wife, she's his mother. Maybe they don't even look at her like that. Okay, so that was kind of how I figured maybe that's why men aren't checking for her like that. Because again, a lot of men look at Steph Curry, they put respect on his name. They're not trying to look at Aisha Curry like that. That's that's kind of how I figured. And for the record, maybe some of them do. She just doesn't pay attention to it. She's so busy, you know, looking down at her kids and doing this and doing that. A lot of us do that. So, you know, people, people will pick up on people flirting with us before we even pick up on it because we're too busy engaged in something else. And somebody will have to say, Hey, that man checking you out. I think he like you. I had my man say that before to me. Okay. And I'd be like, what, what are you talking about? I don't even know. Cause you, you're too busy doing other stuff. You're not looking. So sometimes you will miss those cues. That's my, uh, feeling about what she said. I just think that people want to kill this woman for no reason. They do. They want to kill this woman for having an opinion about how she feels. And I don't understand why people get upset for you having an opinion about your own life. She didn't tell y'all, okay, to go out and feel that way. She said, this is how she feels. I remember when people kill Aisha back in the day when she said something about how she likes to dress for her man and how she likes to keep a little you know, covered up a little bit. And people, feminists killed her. People killed this woman. I'm thinking, why are you mad at her for saying how she likes to dress for her husband? She didn't tell y'all how to dress for y'all, man. She said how she likes to dress. Her personal opinion, her personal style, it is her. And the feminist dragged her. The people said she was slut shaming. She wasn't doing any of that. Okay. I, <laughs> I, like I said, I didn't get the dragon. I didn't understand it. I was trying to wrap my head around it. I listened to the entire interview and I wish people would have just listened to the entire interview and you would have understood that maybe, just maybe, you would look at this woman's life and the lives of other basketball um, women and you might say, you know, it might look glamorous from the outside, but I might not want her life, okay? I might not want to walk around always worrying about, you know, the groupies, all right. The only thing I disagreed about in the interview is how Jada attempted to put the, the, the responsibility on the groupies and not necessarily the men, even though her mother stepped back, Jada Pinkett's mother stepped back and said, you know, uh, uh-uh, the responsibility is on the man to act right. All right. It ain't on the women that's wanting him. It's on the man. And so I respected her mom for stepping up and actually kind of clarifying that. But other than that, it was a really good interview and I wish people would have just listened to it. I just think that this society listens for a snippet to respond and not to understand. And if had they listened to the entire thing, they would have understood what she was saying. It is about attention and not sexual intention. And we all just want to know that we still got it. That's it. And that's all.